Okay, this is going to be a real quick video. Um, in the Raptor build video, I go over uh, how to build for a Raptor in a 1590G. And in that video, I use two separate switches um, because of the space constraints. Uh, these two little tiny ones. And they're basically just two single pull, single throw switches. Or essentially they are used as that, but they're really single pull, double throw. Um, so those are really small and they fit well in the 1590G box, so that's why I use them in that main video. I did have a request, however, to uh, demonstrate wiring up the larger switch. Um, this is a three position switch. So when it's in the middle position, uh, the box is locked out and it won't fire. Uh, but for the Raptor, uh, when you put it to either the left or the right, it will show uh, the voltage in, i.e. what your batteries uh, have for a charge left, or if you put it the other way, um, voltage out, which is what the board's putting out. So I'll wire this up real quick and kind of walk everybody through it. I'm not actually like wiring this into a Raptor right now because I'm just recording this real quick, but uh, I'll go over which each of the wires are. Uh, just so it's kind of clear. Alright, so one trick you can do, um, the pinholes on this are really small, and if you only have some like 20 or 22 gauge wire, uh, they're probably not easily going to fit in there. But if you got the Raptor, um, you'll notice the voltmeter comes with uh, significantly long wire. And what you can do is you can use a little bit of the wire that comes uh, with the voltmeter. I usually only end up using like an inch or so of it, so uh, you're not going to need much for this, and it'll be real easy just to jump these together. So somewhere in the frame of the video, I'm going to put up the switch diagram, so I'll say it'll be like right there. Um, but I'll go over each of these connections as I make them. So we have six pins here and that allows for the three positions. So to explain this in simple terms, I guess, anything that you connect to these middle pins when it's in like one position, so we slide the switch over, that'll connect um, separately this pin to this pin and this pin to this pin. And vice versa, when you move it all the way over to the other side, it's middle pin to right pin, middle pin to right pin. Now, keep in mind these aren't uh, connected across, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, it's basically two switches in one. Um, so that's why it's a three position, it's like a double pull, triple throw uh, switch. And then uh, when it's in the middle position, obviously, these middle pins aren't connected to anything. So let's go over this real quick. First thing we're going to do is probably the easiest thing. Let me get some uh, wire here. Uh, first one I'll do is this middle pin on the top and that will be the one going to the fire button. So I'm just cutting some wire here. I have this really zoomed in far. So we're going to pretend this wire goes to uh, the fire button and we'll just solder that in real quick and I'm going to thread it through here um, you can just tack it on um, just keep in mind when you're like bending it that you uh, don't snap that lead off or you'll be very unhappy so got that threaded like a needle and get the soldering iron in here and you only need like a little dab to get that connected and then you can come in and trim off the excess because you don't want it bridging the gap between those two alright so this top one here goes with the fire button next up um, there is one that goes to the voltmeter so again with your voltmeter uh, you'll connect one of the red wires to this bottom middle one. 
and I'll kind of go over that as we get them connected. So this is essentially the wire coming from the voltmeter. Got that nice and stuck. Trim off that excess. So, fire button at the top, voltmeter out at the bottom. And that's going to allow us to select which one goes to which. Now, for the fire button, um, we want it to fire when it's either in the left or the right position. So, we need to connect the input, um, which uh, in the wiring diagram comes from uh, VN or the PFET, it uh, doesn't matter which. So we want these two outside pins here on the top to be jumped uh, together so they're connected. Um, that doesn't really make sense uh, too much, but uh, basically it allows the fire button to get connected through this line in either the left or the right position, and that's what we want. So I'm going to do that real quick. And just to make this a little easier to thread, I'm going to tin up this wire and cut a little bit off. And let's put a little flux on this to make it a little easier. trying to do it from the side. <coughs> Shape that down a little bit. Alright. So it's like three in the morning and I'm doing this. Again, I could just tack this to the side, which I guess I'm going to do for the sake of brevity. Alright, so that's tacked down. And I'm just going to wrap that over here and trim off a little bit. So we still got a tail there. And then I'll just strip that down. Maybe a little further. Just to keep it neat and tidy. So here's where the uh, forceps come in so I don't burn my fingers like I have in previous videos, which I can tell you is not very fun. Let's see if I can thread this one through. Maybe not. <laughs> this may seem like it's harder, but uh, I guess I don't regularly do this either, so let's see here. So 
Yep, that is definitely tacked on there with a very poor solder, but it'll work. And trim that off. And let that scrap of wire go. There we go. Uh, now, um, since we want the voltmeter to be able to read uh, the input and the output, we're going to jump that one over to this bottom right corner here. So it's going to be top left to top right, and then top right to bottom right. There's that, and then get this over here for one more. And I actually just ended up stripping it all off, but you can kind of work with that. Um, really shouldn't be anything touching this at the bottom of the box and you definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to wrap this around here. So that is all tacked together. Alright, so top left to top right, top right to bottom right. And then there's going to be an outside wire coming in. Which will come from the VN. Uh, it can either come from the PFET or it can come from the pre-wired Raptor board if you get it that way. Um, or if you watch like a uh, the new Raptor video I just made. Um, that would be the one that's uh, coming from the VN switch, as it were. Alright, so this one comes from VN. And I'm just going to clip that tail off there. Uh, the last one we have to do is going to be from V out. Uh, so that can either come from the 510 connector or, uh, like in the last Raptor video I just made, the new one, uh, that would be from the V out to the switch. And obviously since I don't have this thing connected to anything, I can't show you that it works, but I think you can trust me, it does. And consequently, um, if you get one of the MOSFET boxes with a voltmeter, um, you do pretty much all the same stuff except you would leave out this uh, wire to the bottom left pin. And that would allow you to fire the mod without um, displaying the voltage on the voltmeter. So it would be like an off switch. So now if we go and flip this over, in the left position it would be voltage out because um, that would be connecting this middle pin for the voltmeter to voltage out and it would be connecting the fire button to the input. Uh, in the middle position obviously it's locked out, it's off. And the right position would be um, 
voltage in because it would be connecting the middle pin for the voltmeter to voltage input and the fire button again still to voltage input. So that's kind of like the dual purposeness of this switch. And if you wire it up like this, you could just patch these wires into, you know, whatever else uh, you got built already. So there we go. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you want to see some other specific videos or really anything, just uh, shoot me a message. Have a good one.